Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today's April 30th, 2019, and today is Tuesday morning. So looking at the major economic events of the day, just two events coming out later today, starting at 2.30 South African time. Monthly GDP numbers coming out of Canada and consumer confidence number coming out of the United States at 4 o'clock South African time. That's a very important number. I would say it's the third most important number of the month, uh, especially with the NFP coming out later today, this week, and the FOMC coming out tomorrow. Consumer confidence is up there. Okay, it's one of those major datas that really, you know, kind of puts the pulse of the market. Okay, so you do want to know that it is coming out. It affects the Dow Jones tremendously uh, if there are any surprises. So take a look at that later today. Now, looking at the markets, looking at the forex symbols, dollar slightly weaker, but it's really awaiting the FOMC tomorrow. Okay, so I don't expect any major changes there within the next 24 hours. Just, you know, it's going to probably be choppy, light trading. Now, looking at, you know, the Dow Jones, it was pretty much unched yesterday, okay? Uh, we're trading at 26,540, and yesterday at the same time, we're trading at the same amount as well, okay? Up and down 8 to 10 points is really, you know, very, very little for, you know, something that trades between a thousand, two thousand points generally. Okay. So with that said, just be aware of that. Now looking at the commodity, oil bounces yesterday, but you know, it's got to take a look at that to see if that's actually going to, you know, create any sort of momentum this week. We'll see that after FOMC. Now, lastly, looking at the stocks, Apple announces earnings today. Google uh, announced earnings yesterday, and it's pretty steady after reporting, okay? Some of the revenue is down, but it's still pretty steady. So there could be like just a lot of, you know, awaiting this FOMC before there's any major positions being transferred in the markets, okay? So with that said, okay, again, it's lighter trading for the next couple of days just before the FOMC tomorrow evening, uh, South African time. But let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from a couple of movers and shakers. So we're starting here with the Euro USD. And as you can see, we sold off yesterday, beautiful front, this 1196. That was our point. That was our resistance level. And sure enough, we did sell off from that. We're trading at 1175. I would expect it to come down another 20 pips later today. Um, I would see if it tests this actually test this 30-day uh, moving average, which may actually be an indicator if it does break further down. Okay, we're still in a kind of like a tight range for the Euro USD, about 70 pips. So nothing to really, you know, bounce at and say, you know, buy me or sell me at this levels. However, looking at the Aussie USD, we see a little bit of a sell-off this morning, okay, from its 70.68 down to 70.37 ish level, 30 pips, but it is down. OK, our next support level, of course, is 7023. So with that said, if it does break that area, we could see it testing the 70 ish level again. Now, jumping back to the GBP, OK, pretty much unched here. 129.35, not really much to report there. But with that said, OK, just be aware that it's going to be kind of quiet before this FOMC number does come out. Now, looking at the commodities, oil, uh, let's jump to gold, excuse me. 1283 from 1278 ish yesterday. Okay, just a nice five dollar bounce. But again, sideways trading. I don't see this much as a you know upwards momentum, just as a you know new range bound trading. Okay, and closer to 1286, I'd be looking to actually short it somewhere closer to a 1275, 1278 ish level. I'd be looking to buy it. Okay, so with that said, it is in a tight range. You want to you know book your profits quickly and take the money off the off the table as it gives it. To. Now, looking at oil, this is what I was talking about. A nice little bounce yesterday, about 60, 60 cents uh, off the dollar, 63.41 right now as it's trading. Okay, but this is yet to really, you know, prove itself. It's still, if it's still in an upwards momentum, it did break that momentum as we saw that, you know, capitulated. 6643 ish level. So, with that said, again, not much happening. Okay. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay. The next couple of days are going to be kind of difficult, you know, to find some winners. If we do see continued momentum here at 6341, remember, $64 is our resistance. That's our next resistance. So, let's see if that actually fruits later today. My guess is it's not. Okay. Looking at the Dow Jones, we're trading at 26,530. I mean, this is crazy. We're in a 15 point 
move, okay, range, if you will, okay, for something that trades, you know, three to 400 points per day, okay? If I look at a daily, it's not going to even show up anything, right? Look at that. Look at those two candles. It's nothing. You know, look at some of the other candles we've had over the past couple of months. So with this said, okay, everybody's eye is fixated on the FOMC tomorrow. So just be aware of that. Looking at the JSC, we had a nice sell-off yesterday, okay, which we did mention, okay, it did look like it was at resistance and it would sell off and sure enough it did. Our next support level is 52,490-ish level. So just be aware, if it comes closer to that, you wanna, might look to buy it a little bit, okay, to see if it does sustain that, so that soft spot at that support level for it to bounce above later okay now looking at apple later today we do have earnings it did sell off a little bit about four dollars for three and a half dollars let's say from our highs so with that said okay kind of interesting usually the the, the number actually is going to come out right before the consumer confidence number it's going to be around uh three o'clock south african time so just be aware that um that the number does 2 30 to 3 o'clock excuse me that's when the number comes out the earnings report for apple so you can look it up online to see what the um expected earnings report is and and what we anticipated for it to be as well to see it moving forward now looking at some of the other stocks facebook still very strong google's very strong amazon still very strong so these things are you know at their highs okay if we look at the fang stocks they're still very strong so they're not breaking out higher because I think everybody's fixated on this FOMC. I don't think there's going to be a rate change, but I think more the inflationary number is going to be more important to see where we're headed there. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.